Hey guys, welcome back to Monstrosities, a vlog of Tokusatsu. I'm Matt. And I'm Max. And the following review has actually been uh, sponsored by Bandai Japan, who is extremely, extremely yes. awesome and generous to send us an advanced copy of the Godzilla card game. You yourself are a humongous card mm -hmm. player. Yes. So when I told you that this was coming in, you were like, oh my god! Mm -hmm. You've done Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. You've done Vanguard. Pokemon. Magic the Gathering. Chaotic. I am not an avid card game player by any means no. whatsoever. And then tonight came, and it was yes. like, okay, well, I guess we're going to learn how to play the Godzilla card, card game. Out of the box. Out of the box. I don't think you're going to be playing this game immediately. Even with card game experience, it's a bit of a learning curve. No. If you're a total noob to card games, then it's going to be pretty steep. But if you give it enough time, I think you can get the hang of it. The biggest thing that makes it that way is the thing that makes it the most unique. The Chrono Clash system. Basically, every card game is turn by turn. Person takes a turn playing something, next person takes a turn playing something. In this game, however, every card has a point value and there's a little slider on the top. Playing a card moves the slider into the opposite direction towards the opponent's half of the counter. If it lands on the opponent's half, it's their turn. If it lands on your half, it's your turn again. So it's sort of a, a risk-reward system where, okay, I can play a really expensive card, but then it's going to move heavy into his turn, he can play a bunch of cards after that. A big important point I'd like to bring up, four 50-card decks inside of it, and each one of these decks has a bunch of big-sized extra cards in there, which all look cool. And for custom building, you get three copies of every card, aside from the ones in the extra deck, which you only need one copy mm -hmm. of. So, with those three copies, you have literally everything you need to start custom building straight away. Speaking of decks, we have four mm -hmm. different decks, four different playing styles. Yes. There, there was the there Shin Godzilla deck. There's the Shin deck. The Mecha Godzilla deck. The Mothra King Ghidorah deck. And then... The Destroy a Heisei. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, right off the bat, you look at these cards and you're like, oh my god. We have four generations mm -hmm. worth of Godzilla stuff. Oh, Showa, yeah. Heisei, Millennium, Shin. Plus other Toho creations from yeah. the Pantheon. You got Matango in here, which is really yeah, weird. Matango is crazy. Yeah. Like, like, I really appreciated the inclusion of the Gargantuas. Yes, like, the Gargantuas. Was cool. But and Matango, I was like, what? Okay, what? Oh, yeah. whatever. What? There were a couple of spelling errors. The Dorats are Drats. Garu Garu from is Gargle. Megalon and is my personal favorite. Mega Wrong. Stuff like that happens, but it was just kind of amusing. It, it was fun. <laughs> I thought the artwork for uh, Shin Godzilla fourth form using heat beams was kind of fun and different. That card alone, mm -hmm. Shin Godzilla with a blue breath, is guaranteed to give uh, some of our other fellow YouTubers at least 15 videos yes. worth of theory yes, videos. Yes, at least. Shin Godzilla's blue breath explained. <laughs> I can't wait for that one. Can't wait for it. Other things that this game comes with is obviously a rule sheet. Uh, you got um, four game mats. And uh, you also include two tournament packs. So that's true, which mm -hmm. included for us, we had the Hollows of uh, Mothra 92 yep. and the Oxygen Destroyer. Uh, there are a couple of things that you're going to need that aren't included within the game, which isn't necessarily a big deal, mm -hmm. but it also wasn't something that I had just laying around. Yeah. One of which was a die for the, quests. The quest aspect mm -hmm. of this, which is something that we didn't really get into that much. We were trying to get a baseline understanding for, and that's a little more complicated, advanced. But layer basically, on there are, there are two ways to win this game. You can either take what is the equivalent of your opponent's health bar, or if you have five quests that are completed from your monsters, mm. then you can win the game. From the perspective of, of somebody who, again, is not a major card game player, but is mm -hmm. in fact just a uh, Godzilla fan, I, I gotta tell you, like, if you guys are gonna go pick this up, I would fully recommend uh, that you're in one of two state of minds. Yes. One, you already have experience playing card games, so therefore you know, trying to figure this out isn't going to be a frustrating experience for you. The other one is that you're like, I've never played a card game before, but I would like to learn. Having prior experience would be a major benefit for yes. you if you plan yes. on, on doing this. And to get the most enjoyment out of the product, for mm -hmm. sure. It takes a little bit to get started, mm -hmm. but I think once you get started, and Once you're thing, over that learning curve. If you like that kind of game, mm -hmm. then I think this is going to be the perfect thing for you. Absolutely. And I think that you absolutely need to go pick this up. Yes. Once again, I would like to give a um, humongous monumental thanks to Bandai. Yes. For letting yes. us try out uh, the Godzilla card game. 
with that said, I think that about wraps it up. So, I think we're about good. For Godzilla's sake, keep watching Tokusatsu. For the good of mankind and yourselves, I'm Matt. And I am Max the Duke. I'm here to remind you to please, oh please, collect responsibly. And if you are at all interested, definitely go and pick up the Godzilla card game. Mm -hmm. Totally and completely worth it. Very worth it. And we will see you guys very, very soon. Thank you very much for joining us. Yep. Bye. Adios.